Okay guys, so here we have a question on radioactive decay, in particular and a decay equation. So it's asking us for polonium 210, atomic number two, um, 84 and mass number 210. It's a radioactive isotope that decays by releasing alpha radiation. And it says, which is the correct decay equation for polonium 210? Tick one of the boxes. So the key thing to note here, all three, because it's the decay of alpha, on the product side, the right hand side of the equation, we have the alpha particle, helium, mass number four, atomic number two. And obviously for polonium, they've given us the mass number and atomic number, so it's the same for all three answers here. So we know these two, these two sides are all the same. So it's more focused on element X, okay? And what we need to make sure is atomic number and the mass number on both the left and right hand side of the equation are balanced. So we can see there's 210 as the mass number for polonium. If we look at the first example, we've got then 214 for X and four for the helium. So if I added those, 214 plus four is 218. So that's not 210, so that's not gonna work. Both of the other two, you can see here, I'm gonna put it in between them, 210 on the left, and then on the right-hand side, we have a mass number of 206 plus four, which equals 210. So there is a balance in the mass number of both of them. So now we need to check the balance of the atomic number. So I'm gonna do that in a different color. I'll do it in green. So looking at the atomic number now, let's look at the middle equation, 84 to 86 plus two, giving you 88. So 84 on the left, 88 on the right, there's no balance. So we're just gonna do it for completion. We've gone by elimination, but let's have a look. 84 here for polonium on the left, and on the right hand side, we have 82 plus two for the atomic number as a total of 84. That balances both the mass number and the atomic number balance. So our correct answer is the third answer here, 20682 for element X.